What's up fam, welcome back to vlog number two. If you guys watch or came from vlog number one, you know that we had some issues installing the BNR Turbo. The customer store is not here anymore, which means that we did fix the issue. We upgraded the washers and we tested it. Everything was fine. We are currently data logging the car. For those of you guys who don't know, we are dealers for BNR and EMS, which means we have the BNR 525, BNR 600, and the no grind kit on our website. Hit us up at sales at pp-fl.com if you have any questions. BNR 600 is capable of over 600 wheel horsepower and 600 wheel torque. And for a drop in turbo, I mean, it is amazing. We can't wait to see the results with our customer's car, hopefully on our car soon. Till then, stay tuned. All right, car is ready. BNR 600 is fully done and installed. Customers going to pick it up in 30 minutes. Th this guy pissing you off? No, he's always pissing me off, bro. No, this dude, you know, I told him nothing we talking to, bro. That little kid shit, I don't even be here now. What? <laughs> what? All right, so I just got to work. No one's here except Laura. So let's open up the shop. And today we are actually dynoing a customer scar of ours. It's a GT500. We've done a couple of bolt-ons to it. It's currently tuned on 93 by Lund. And uh, we'll talk about those mods in, in a little bit. We are dyno tuning the car on E85, again, with Lund. So we can kind of see where the car is at on base tune and then moving on from there. Yeah, so excited to see that. I personally think the car is gonna make, this dyno is a heartbreaker, so I honestly think it's gonna make like 750 on E85. Too soon, Junior. Maybe 800, but we'll see. And uh, look who's here. That's for the bugs, because we have a lot of bugs. Good morning, whore. Man, my fucking head hurts still, bro. It's like a week. You gotta check that out. Yeah. Morning, Laura. First person here, as always. Oh. Introduce hey. yourself real quick. Um, I'm Laura. So I handle the books here at Parker Performance. I normally get here before everybody else, and I put in all the sales from the previous day. Um, and record all the money that they spend. A lot of it. A lot of it, yeah. <laughs> I'm also known as the principal. I kind of like have to crack the whip when they're spending too much, but that's all right. <laughs> For the GT500 dyno, Adam and Josh were buttoning up a few stuff on this white car. This is a customer of ours, of course. It's a built long box from EMS, HPFP, Tornado kit, the whole thing. Um, still tuned on 93. So we're just breaking the car in. And after that, we're gonna put it on E85, dyno tune it, get some numbers and see the difference. You always shake me. All right, what, what do you think that GT500 is gonna dyno at? It's a heartbreaker dyno. I made 297 on it. so. 725. 725. Torque? Same, right up there. 650. 650, alright. I think mean, that's six, not right, that's six, not right, that's not right, that's all 100 horsepower difference. 650, 675. 650, 675. Okay, alright, we'll see. Alright, so we just made it to tuning dynamics. That's where we're gonna dyno the car. Rick just made it to the shop. No! What do you mean about leaving? What, what kind of... No, I'm not leaving. I just parked here, motherfucker. And there she is. I'm riled up. All right, what up, Dow? We have done it. Um, so this is basically our stage one, right? Got the SPE pulley with the auxiliary idler. Um, We've done a little bit additional. We've done the uh, JLT coder intake. We did the IDX injector and then Lund Racing Tune. Um, we also added American Racing headers. It's like a modified stage one. I would almost consider it like, you know, stage two type stuff. Um, but yeah, we're excited. This pull lead is gonna be on 93 first pull, then E85, and uh, we'll see what she does. Okay, we are back here at the Tuning Dynamics Dyno facility. 
This is my brother-in-law's place. He's only about a mile away from our shop. Uh, so today we've got Michael's GT500 on the, on the dyno and we just got it strapped in. We're gonna do our first data line will be on 93. Um, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and switch them over to E85 and we'll see the, the difference. We're gonna look at the Delta from 93 to E85 on the same day, on the same dyno, uh, with the same tuner. This car is equipped with our stage one package for the GT500. That includes the SPE pulley and auxiliary idler. Uh, we did the IDX injectors. We went ahead and did a set of long tube headers on this. And of course, our friends at Lund Racing on the ones and twos. Hey, yo. How much power did you say that you think that thing's, blah, 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 you think that thing's gonna make? Um, I hope that we crack into the eights. In the um, eights with full E85. Right, on full okay. E85. Uh, we haven't dynoed one of these. We've done you know several bolt-on setups, so I, I don't really know what to expect. Um, yeah, just I, I hope it cracks into the eights. That's what do you think, right? I think it should crack. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I don't know anything about how these cars react. I just know they make more power, like a lot. So more. if you have to guess, low eights, low eights, okay, eight oh six. I'll go 806. I'll be concerned. All right, so I'm 750, 806, 800. Yeah, this is also like a like an off the shelf too. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Two, right? No. no. no we'll Lund is not off the shelf. For the for the E85 though? Yeah, we're doing like a whole a live tuning. tuning. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was a live tuning. Okay. That's nice on me. Rack it up, rack it up. Exciting. Okay, so this exceeded all our expectations. It made 745 wheel horsepower, 623 wheel torque on 93. So we're gonna get a tune for E85, a base map, and load up the E85, and we'll see. I mean, now, I mean, it should definitely break the 800. 745 on 93, bro. And by the way, this is our preferred heartbreak dyno. Shout out to. Uh, That's where I made 297. This is the same one from that one video, right? Alright, B85. Cool, it was like 109. I would say yeah. 825. 825. 825. I said low 8. 809. I think I said that last time. I'll right? say 870. Mm. Moments later. One eternity later. We'll say probably around 850. Jay, what do you think on E85? Um, it's got to pick up at least a hundred. So right? eight fifty. Eight fifty. Yeah. All right. Then. I'm, ho I'm hoping. We can't up. We can't up. Yeah. Hope. So, Ninety three is doing. E thirty. I mean, not E thirty. E eighty five. My job. That's not even a full watt, that's just the base map that they just sent us. Man, Lund, you guys are crazy. Literally five or six bolt-ons that Josh listed before. This car is over 800 wheel on a base map. Over 800 wheel, 804 to be exact. That's nuts. Second E85 map from Mr. Lund Sr. himself. Car made 824 wheel horsepower, 666 wheel torque. Literally just off like five or six mods. That's literally insane. This is the highest car that we've ever, highest horsepower car that we've ever dyno on this dyno. Okay, and so that's a wrap here at Tuning Dynamics. Thanks to the Tuning Dynamics team for always being great hosts, for letting us get our Mustangs into their German shop on their badass dyno. Basically, in a nutshell, what we've done here is we've proven that with just five upgrades, 
um, the proper fuel, the proper team, the proper products, um, that we can make your car achieve similar goals. You're going to be looking in the 750 rear wheel horsepower area on 93 octane. You're going to be looking at the 825 rear wheel horsepower area on E85. What's up, bucko? <laughs> Dude, oh my god. That's so much. Exhilarating? Oh. God. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we are taking Ricky's engine out of the car so he can get a new built one from Jesse. All right, all the cars are parked up. We are done for today and see what we have tomorrow. Hey.